There's a young man called Harold Styles, quite the crush on every time I get to hold him. He's got that thing which is unquantifiable. Ironically, the very thing he has is the X Factor. He's just got a thing that you can't take your eyes from. That quality can sometimes make someone a dick. And with him, he is the same person that I met seven years ago, six years ago, than he is today. He is completely uh, adorable and together and, and wise and old before his time. Just imagine if Louis actually said that. Like, just James saying it is enough to get my feels up, so if Louis ever said that, I would die. Like, that was literally me in one video. Anyway, hey guys, it's Sarah. So, I thought I would make this video today because if I filmed it tomorrow, I feel like it'd be too late. And surprisingly, I have nothing really going on right now and this is like the perfect opportunity. So why not just make a quick video about everything that's been going on. So without further ado, here's the latest news that's been happening in the past couple days. Okay, as you guys could see by the title, today's updates are all going to be about Harry, and I'm so happy about this because a lot of my videos have just been about Louis, which is fine, I love all of them. But it's nice to see Harry back, he looks healthy, he's performing again, and he's going to be going on tour in about a couple weeks. So first we're going to start off with Harry at the Live Lounge, and like usual, before I get into all of that, I'm going to show you guys some pictures and videos from the event. In my opinion, it was so weird seeing these pictures at first because Harry usually never dresses casual. I never really see him in a t-shirt. Usually when he's performing, he's dressed really nice. But like, even Harry in a t-shirt, it still looks good. He can still make that, like something so simple, look so fashionable. But speaking of Harry's fashion, this says he's wearing a Patterson Dental and they donated dental kits for Hurricane Harvey evacuees. And guys, not only that, Harry was wearing a pin that says treat people with kindness and it was a pink pin. Would have expected nothing less from Harry Styles. This is why I love Harry. He always does things with a purpose. He's so kind. He does charity. Like, he's just like the nicest person. He leads by example. And also guys, if you saw from the picture, Harry's wrist was wrapped and we're like, what's happening to our baby? Is he okay? Like, do I need to go help him? Like, I was very concerned because he's like Bambi, you know? So this is, according to a fan who was at the Nova's Red Room today, Harry said he had surgery recently on his wrist. And here's a little clip of Harry talking about it. Oh, but can we just quickly just ask about the hand? <clears throat> yeah, it's, it's going to uh, be in a video and people are going to go, Sure. Harold's sick. I had, uh, I just had a little bit of surgery on my wrist. Is it like RSI? Like, you know, when if you were, if you, have it's, you ever done um, an office job? No, yes. Oh, uh, like, uh, like on a mouse. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, it's like, yeah. Oh, Oh, clicking, clicking. Yeah. Is that because it's, it's like, not it's, from clicking? It's not from clicking. It's not from clicking. I mean, guys, just look at his wrist. It looks like there's literally a dent in it. Like, that looks concerning. I am scared. But then, like, a day later, he wasn't wearing the wrist wrap thing, so I think he's gonna be okay. But in the interview, Harry never really told us what happened. He just mentioned he had it, so we still don't really know how he hurt his wrist. Obviously, it wasn't by clicking. This also says Harry was MIA because he had a surgery recently and Louis was MIA because he's been taking care of his hubby. Oh my god, yeah, a lot of people have been mentioning that, like the fact that Louis and Harry are both MIA and then guess what, they both like turn up on the same day. I'll get to that later on in the video. But guys, regardless if there's any evidence, we all know that Louis and Harry both take care of each other, so I'm sure that has happened. And now obviously I couldn't leave out Harry's performances because that's why he was there, so here's a few clips of him singing. Your life, like just sipping 
lattes in the sunshine in LA. No lattes. Don't like milk in my no, coffee. It really? No black coffee. Okay, black. Yeah. Which which in in America is very different to black coffee around the rest of the world. They like do yeah. they, that's very strong. Like the hot coffee. I know. Very strong. It's good though. It's good though. Okay. Yeah. Flush. It definitely wakes you up in the morning, right? It does. It do, okay. Does. So let's pretend you have to get a black coffee. Do you mm. drive yourself to black coffee? Or I do. Get out. I like driving. Yeah. Liberating. Well, you. I guess you're from yeah, England. Sure. Well, yeah, but in England, you don't. You can drive, but it's either yeah. like tiny little streets, yeah. or a congested M25. Exactly. And here, no, now, I, I enjoy driving. I like it. Yep. Yeah. Are you uh, a good driver though? I, I asked Miley so. Cyrus once, and she yeah. said, "I think I am," but Liam says, "No." Um, <laughs> no, I think friend, I'm Do your right. friends get in the car and then say, "I'm"? So no, I've never had now. any. Weird, weird friends, bad driver comments. Yeah, okay. Well, that, you're right. a good driver then, Thank sir. You. You're a good driver. Guys, no joke. Harry keeps getting better and better as he performs these songs. Like if you compare his first performance of Sign of the Times to now, like he's got that shit down pat. I just can't with Harry's aesthetic though. Like his freaking train conductor hat, his yellow shirt. Like during that freaking interview, he was so smiley. Like he looks so happy. He looks healthy. He's glowing. I'm gonna assume it's the husband glow because Louie and Harry were probably hanging out. Okay, now on to Harry at the live lounge. Sorry if I messed up the events early on in the video. I kind of got it confused. Okay, so there's a few reasons why this performance was definitely special. Number one, look at Harry's shirt. I know he always dresses stylish, so it should just be like not a big thing to us anymore, but it always is. Again, I'm gonna say it. I don't know how he makes everything look so good, and his stage presence is on point. And what made it even better is Harry was doing a ton of covers. He was doing Fleetwood Mac covers. Running in the shadow. Like, Harry singing his own songs is amazing in itself, so him singing other people's songs, it just creates like a new vibe, a new sound to the song, and he's putting his own creativity and his own spin on it, and that's what I love about him doing covers. He can make anybody's songs sound so good, and I would say that even if I wasn't a Harry Styles fan. To be honest, this shouldn't even be news because Louis always is a supportive boyfriend. So basically, a few days ago, if you went to Louis Tomlinson's likes on his Twitter, you could see that Louis liked this tweet from Smallsy's Twitter account. That was the guy who interviewed Harry recently. And Smallsy says, next week we're going to have Harry Styles, Pink, Niall Horan, and Drake. So basically, the fandom freaked out because Louis liked a tweet that had Harry's name in it. But then, what do you know? Guess what? Louis unliked the tweet right after. I don't know if it was like right after, but... He unliked the tweet. And this is what happens when our fandom gets too crazy. Like, don't get me wrong, I loved when Louis liked the tweet too, but just the fact that we got too hyped up and he had to unlike it, like, I think that's kind of sad. This is why I think we should all calm down sometimes because this stuff happens. And you know what? Niall's name was also in the tweet, so maybe Louis didn't like it because Harry's name was in it. So all I'm gonna say is, guys, I am a Larry shipper, but not everything is about Harry when it comes to Louis or vice versa. Not trying to sound rude, but I'm saying if we want to have nice things, we shouldn't have this much hype because Louis will see it. Also speaking of the king himself, the way Louis is walking, he has like a sort of strut to his walk and he's like, king is here. But not only that, you can see that Louis is wearing a Gucci shirt. And the reason why I'm bringing this up is because of these tweets. So this says, it's the 89th time Louis and Harry appeared together after being MIA together for a while. So here is Louis wearing the Gucci shirt and here was Harry recently wearing his Gucci shirt. And here's another example of Harry with a Gucci shirt as well. And there were more picture examples in that post, but I just didn't include them. So yeah, I mentioned this earlier in the video, but Louis and Harry always seem to go MIA and then they turn up on the same day and they're both wearing Gucci? Like, were they hanging out? Did they go shopping together? Like, is this a coincidence to you guys? I don't know if we're reaching because us Larrys do that a lot. And I know people say there are no coincidences in this fandom anymore. I have even said that multiple times on my channel. But then again, we really don't know. And also speaking of Louis being extra on his Twitter, this tweet says, Just what I thought Larry can't get more extra, Louis follows the man behind Wild Thoughts the same day Harry covers it. Can't believe it. Okay, so if you guys are confused, Harry was at the live lounge and he covered the song Wild Thoughts. I just wanna be a baby
And this says Louis is following DJ Khaled's son on Twitter the same day as the live lounge, and now after a week, it makes sense, of course. Louis followed Khaled the same day Harry recorded his live at BBC. Someone who works with Harry posted about the live lounge August 18th, and Louis's follow is also August 18th. He already followed DJ Khaled's actual Twitter in January, so he followed his son's that is handled by the father. So basically, if you're still lost, Louis goes and follows the artist of that song on Twitter the same day. And to me, this doesn't like prove a heck of a lot, but I will say that it is a bit extra. Cause like, what are the chances that Harry covers the song, Louis goes and follows the artist. And I think Louis's done this many times. This is not the first time he's done something like this. Obviously, Louis's always extra, Louis Extra Tomlinson. Again, that's probably what his E tattoo stands for. But again, if I didn't explain this correctly, please write the analysis down below for anybody who didn't understand. But yeah, that's pretty much all the news for today. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully you understood everything. And yes, I would have loved for this video to be much longer. I could rant about Louie and Harry all day. But you know, since I'm in college, I have time constraints. I have places to be, things to do. So I'm actually even surprised I'm able to still make videos in college. But I love you guys so much. I love my channel. I love One Direction. So that's why I'm still doing these videos for you guys. So bear with me throughout the semester. And I hope you guys are having a good year too. Anyway, if I missed anything, please leave it down below. And like always, I make a new video whenever I want so like and subscribe. All my social media is down in the description and I will see you guys later. Bye. Thank you so much for watching this video. What should they do, Harry? They should subscribe to this channel. There you go. Thanks so much. We'll see you soon.